volumes because when we hide it then we can go and dig it up when it's necessary when it applies right so come on let's sing this song together I know everybody in here knows it it's Proverbs 3 we're gonna write them on the tablet of our hearts so that we will not forget so we won't sin against him he's gonna lead us and guide us into all truth come on put your hands together
your direction we trust what you're building in us this song just says build your church build your church in me it's not a building it's not four walls but God build your church in us today as we sing this song I just want you to lift your hands and surrender to God as, as, as a personal ode to your to God from you when you sing these lyrics Say, God, I want you to dwell in me. Do I got a believer that said, God, I want you to build your holy place inside of my heart. We just sang all these songs. We said, write it on your heart. We said, he's a great Jehovah. Now, God, I want you to come and dwell in me. It is finished. Oh, he gave us the key, his authority. Now we are joined in to the praise of his glory, glory and upon this rock. And the, gate, and the gates of hell will not be left. Say what we find and lose. What we find and lose. Say we proclaim your truth. We proclaim your truth. Say and in Jesus' and in name. Who we will not fail. We'll your church build your church build it from the ground up it's your church build your church hey. build your church build it from the ground up it's your build your church build your church build your church say build it from the ground it's your church yes God say build your church build your church build it from the ground Build your church. Build your church. Build it from the ground up. 
church. Woo. Build your church. Build it from the ground up. It's your church. It's not mine. It's not yours. It's not Ignite. It's God's church. It's your church. So he makes the provision. <laughs> Build your church. Build it from the ground up. It's your church. It's your church. We give it back to him. <laughs> you gonna take care of it, God. It's your church. <laughs> we surrender the plan, the blueprint, because it's your church. church. I got a believer in here that's gonna stand in faith and say, God, if you gave us a vision, you gonna provide for us. It's your church. It's your church. It's your church. What am I gonna say? It's your church. 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 We build it in you. We build it on you. We trust and believe. And we stand by faith. We stand by faith. We stand by faith. On Christ the solid. On Christ the solid. On Christ the solid, on Christ the solid, we build our church. It's your church. It's your church. It's your church. It's your church. I feel that. It's your church. And the gates of hell will not prevail. I don't know why that keeps being in my spirit. The gates of hell will not prevail. Every attack of the enemy will not prevail. Every dart, every sniper, everything that was spoken out of an ill will will not prevail.
about putting your faith in Jesus. When I was younger, my dad left at six. He went to jail. I didn't know what was going to be next, what was going to go on. I didn't know who I could lean on, what I could do. I grew up without a lot of training, but there was one person I put my faith in. A lot of things could have prevailed, but he didn't let them prevail because I put my faith in him. Sometimes I got beside myself. Sometimes I got far left, but he brought me back right because I stayed with faith. I know I messed up even when I wanted to mess up. He still loved me because of my faith. And that's why half the things that could have prevailed didn't prevail. So when it says, I put my faith in Jesus, my anchor to the ground, my hope, my hope and firm foundation, he'll never, he'll never, he'll never, he'll never let me down. He'll never let me down. He'll never let me down. Do you understand what that means? He'll never let you down. He'll never let you down. So I want everybody to sing. I put my faith, I put my faith in Jesus. My anchor to the ground. My hope. My hope and firm foundation. He'll never let. He'll never let me down. I put my faith in Jesus. My anchor to the ground. He's my hope. My hope and firm foundation. He'll never let me down. He'll never let me down. Just say it again. I put my faith in Jesus. My anchor, my anchor to the ground. He's my hope, my hope and firm foundation. He'll never let me down. He'll never let me Said I down. put my faith in Jesus. I put my faith in Jesus. He's my anchor, my anchor to the ground. And my hope, my hope and firm foundation. He'll never let me down. He'll never, never let, let me down. Me down.
talked about healing can happen. If you're sick tonight, The woman of God is exactly right. This is a moment where this is the place to tap in. Don't come into the atmosphere where healing is available and we don't dive all the way in. I know it's been a long day. I know it's been a long week. I'm going to ask everybody to close your eyes. There's healing already commencing in the sanctuary. But I challenge you to lift up your hands in the room. Come on, everybody, lift up your hands before a mighty God. Oh God, I feel your presence. He's here. And we're talking about tangible manifestation that's available right now. I feel the glory. Healing is your portion. It is your portion. That means you have access. That means it belongs to you. Reach up and grab it. Come on, open up, open up. Some, many of you, I hear the Lord saying, need healing. Whether that's in your mind, whether that's in your finances, whether that's in your physical body. Come on, reach for him. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Something happens when we come together under a corporate anointing. And call on the name of the Lord. Come on, call for him. Reach for him. We decree and declare right now healing in this room. Ruman soya. Over minds, over minds, the mind, the mind, the mind, the mind. Erebe torabang soya yabang soya. Lay your hands, those that need healing. It, it don't have to be a, a serious thing, but you know that the enemy has been messing with your mind. Put your hands on your head now. Decree and declare you have the mind of Christ. Decree and declare that no longer will the enemy be able to enter into the courts of your mind. Come on. Open up your mouth. Open up your mouth. Come on, believers. Come on. Open up your mouth. I sense deliverance. I sense deliverance. 
deliverance in the room right now. Come on, open up your mouth. Sometimes we wait on people to lay hands on our for us. Come on. But you got to remember who you are. You got to remember who you are. You have been given the authority to stand up and tell the enemy not so. Come on, we're coming out of the season of bowing down. We're coming out of that season. Take the realms of your mind back. Come on, I sense God in the room. It may not be for you, so pray for those that it is for. Come on, open up your mouth, intercessors. I see babies laying hands on their minds right now. Come on, pray. Open up your mouth. You will not take us. You will not take our minds. You will not take our young people's minds. We but we bind and cancel the assignment of mind-boggling spirit, mental assassins that are trying to come against the people of God. You will not break. You will not crack. Raban Saban Surya physical bodies lift up your hands that need a healing right now in your physical body as the woman of God has already given us instruction put your hand where you hurt come on where you need a healing I dare you to believe God in this atmosphere move in this place oh God move in this place in the mighty name of Jesus thank you for your healing power oh God I want everybody in the, the sanctuary. We're gonna put worship on what we just believed God for. I want you to sing this song as they were singing. To worship you, come on, sing it. To worship you, I live. To worship you, I live. I live to worship you. To worship. I just need you to pray for a second, seriously. You're a member of Ignite Church Tulsa. Come to the, to the altar. Grab those out of the hall for me, Noah. Those of you that are in the audience, extend your hands to this house.
You can come on up, Noah. Listen, I know this has been a hard season for us. This has been the most challenging season ever. Ask me how I know. This has been difficult. And I know we're bleeding. I know we're hurting. But God is faithful. Hear me, Ignite Church Tulsa. We're on the brink of something so powerful. Y'all better hear me by the Spirit of the Lord. Let the tears flow, it's okay. God has not forgotten us. I want you to lift your hands right now, Ignite Church. Close your eyes. I pray a refreshing even now. Pan sababam soya, ruka manandoroban soya. I pray the healing power of God over our hearts, over our minds, over our bodies right now in the name of Jesus. I come against spirits of discouragement. I come against spirits of depression and oppression. And I come against the spirit of grief that would keep us stuck in a place that would not allow us to move. I pray that the healing power of God would come in to soothe our hearts and minds. I want the family of my husband to come to this altar too, please. Those that belonged to him and family by blood. Come to this altar. Jessica, come to the altar. I know we've had questions. It's okay. Healing needs to take place right now. Right now. Right now, here I know I hear God. It's okay. We've been going and we haven't taken a moment to stop. And I know we've asked questions. Didn't make sense. I've asked the questions. Trust me. Grab somebody because somebody may need you to lean on. Grab somebody. I need y'all praying right now. God, I thank you for healing us.
God literally massaging my heart literally. Come on, Ignite, we need it this moment for healing. Our family needed this moment for healing. Don't let this moment pass you by because God is about to infuse us with strength. He's about to bring the healing power over our hearts in this moment. Family, we're going to be all right. <laughs> Family, we're going to be all right. Even in this moment, of remembrance and healing we honor God for the man of God come on you can give God praise we honor God for the man of God the founder and visionary of Ignite Church Tulsa we will never ever ever forget what he laid his life down for he lived for God he lived for family and he lived for this church in that order. I want to encourage Ignite Church. Everything that you see that's happening and that's about to happen very quickly understand that the man of God established it and founded it in the in the vision that God had given him we're not forgetting him because things are about to pick up real quick y'all hear me prophetically but it was built upon the foundation that he laid hear me as your pastor hear me God has not forgotten about us. His hand is on us. Don't ever think that we'll forget his, his memory, his legacy, and what he, he worked so hard for. Anybody that knew him knew how hard he worked. And honestly, we're already seeing harvest from seed that he sowed. Y'all better hear me today. He spoke about these days. The days that young people would start coming and rushing in the door. That was his heart. Oh God. Y'all were prophetic. These young people, these young adults, a prophetic manifestation of what he spoke. The seed that he sown. And we have yet to see the full manifestation of what the man of God did. I want us to lift up our voices and give God praise for Pastor Troy. Maurice Bell Sr. We can do better than that. We can do better than that. Give God glory. Give God praise for the man of God. Hallelujah. We honor his legacy. We honor his memory. I'm so very proud of Ignite Church Tulsa. We are Ignite What Strong. Say it again. We are Ignite Strong. 
We're not only going to make it, y'all. We're getting ready. We're thriving. We're growing. And we're going to do what God's called us to do. Yes, we're going to keep it moving. Come on, love on your brothers and sisters in Christ. You may have your seats. We're going to keep on going. We're not done. Hey, let's do it. Let's do it. you Jesus I want to challenge us as we sing this song if you could just move around the sanctuary those who are intercessors those who are prayer warriors just to fill this place with with praise and allow his presence to flow so like as we just see because his name is Jesus Jesus he makes the darkness tremble Jesus Jesus he silence fears so as we sing that just get in the posture of worship for a moment. Just fill this room with praise, with glory, and allow His presence to flow. Because when His presence sits in this place, healing is really going to happen. Healing is really going to take place. So I invite you to stand up, just to move around and do it, and worship however you worship. Oh, Jesus. We say peace. Bringing all the peace, the storm surrounding you, let it break at your name. Call the sea to still, the rage in me to still, every way at your name. Jesus, Jesus, you make the darkness tremble Jesus, Jesus silence fears Jesus, Jesus you make the darkness tremble Jesus, Jesus we say breathe call these bones to live call these lungs to sing once again and I will praise we all say Jesus Jesus you make the dark you make the darkness tremble oh, Jesus Jesus, Jesus. silence fails
the shadows can't deny me your name cannot be overcome your name is alive forever lived and high your name cannot be overcome say your name is alive your name
the power and the glory and the honor belongs to him. Come on, church, sing that. Say, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Sing it out. You make the darkness tremble, Jesus, Jesus. You silence me, Jesus, Jesus. You make the darkness tremble, Jesus, Jesus. There's no other name. No other name. The God we serve and know has the name that's above every other name. That at the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee in heaven, on earth, and under the earth has to bow and every tongue confess that he is Lord. Is there a name? Is there a mountain? Is there a sickness? Is there anything today that is attempting to stand against the name of God? We will have some news for you today that God is undefeated. No one's ever beaten the God of the Lord of hosts. And we want to sing that and ring it out because we overcome by the power of the blood of the Lamb and by the power of our testimony. So the testimony we have today is God, you are undefeated. You have never lost a battle and you never will. The battle for my mind, the battle for my soul, the battle for my children, the battle for my family, the battle for my education. He will never lose a battle. He's not about to start right now. Oh my God. So let's sing it out together in celebration that he has never lost a battle. Come on, here we go.
bigger than great. He's bigger than big. Nothing's too hard for God. Nothing's too hard for God.
I pray when Jamin asked me to, to be a part of this tonight, I began to pray for Ignite Church. And I just began to seek heaven about what he wanted to do tonight and, and, and about what Jamin told me God was doing. The Lord showed me that that he has already released angels on assignment in this place. And the Lord showed me that they were, there were angels ascending and descending and they were bringing resources. They were moving uh, to advance the will of God and the kingdom of God through this house. And, and when I was praying, I began to thank God for stopping the enemy in his tracks. Every weapon that has been formed, every lie, every spirit, every force of the enemy, the Lord has already began to dismantle and disconfigure and bring to naught the tactics of hell concerning this house. So when we began to say, who are you, great mountain? I don't care what lie, I don't care what pain, I don't care what trauma, I don't care what divorce, I don't care what grief, I don't care what has come up against you. The Lord has already given you victory. And, and I decree and declare today on this night that you will never lose a battle, that you will never lose a battle as long as you stay in submission to the Father. The Lord has already began constructing, he's already began moving. The anointing is here for breakthrough, for revival, for miracles, for signs, for wonders. There is the embers of revival arresting in Ignite Church. The name is prophetic. He's taking you from glory to glory. He's taking you from glory to glory. You're going to begin to see greater manifestations. You're going to begin to see miracles, signs, and wonders. I mean, you're going to begin to see resurrection. There's dreams in this house. There's dreams in this house that the grief and the pain and the trauma has caused you to suppress. But the Lord has here to reawaken you tonight. There is a fire being ignited in this place today. Hallelujah. I speak to the dreamers. I speak to the dreamers. I speak to the dreamers. I speak to the dreamers right now. The Lord is speaking to you in the night for a reason. The Lord has been speaking to you in the night. He's been showing you things. You need to begin to write those things down. Because I'm talking about some unprecedented favor that's about to hit this house. I'm talking about some unprecedented favor that's about to hit this house. I'm talking about some un unreasonable resources. I mean, I'm talking about money out of everywhere. I'm talking about anonymous donors. I'm talking about people. There's an apostolic grace, an apostolic grace. Come on, I'm talking about five-fold ministers. God is about to begin to sin. He's about to begin to sin five-fold ministers. He's about to begin to sin people of the five-fold because of the anointing that you have stewarded in private, because of what you sought God for, because of what you asked God for. There is within you the equipment needed to advance the kingdom of God. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Oh yeah, he has not forgotten nor forsaken you. He has not forgotten nor forsaken you. Hallelujah. I speak to the Bell family. I speak to the Bell family. You're covered. You are 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 covered. The Lord had me pray this over my brother, and I'm going to decree it to you. That the blessing, the resources, the move, the demonstration, it will not delay. And it will not tarry. And it will not be squandered off by distraction. Somebody say, it will not delay. Say, it will not tarry. And it won't be denied. It won't be denied. It won't be denied. Now I need some radical Holy Ghost filled people to begin to release the song of breakthrough, of revival, of healing, of deliverance, of freedom.
don't know what it is, but I'm going to decree in faith that there's a miracle coming to you. When I looked at you, that's what I felt. There's a miracle coming to you. I don't know what she's been asking God for. I don't know what you're in need of, but there's a miracle coming for you. There's a miracle coming for you. You better make room. You better make room. Come on, you can receive that too. You can receive that if you believe it. Come on. We offer up the prayer in faith. I'm trying to move. I'm trying to move. I'm trying to move. Hallelujah. Remanda la bossa, la 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 I speak to the wind right now, God. From the four corners of the earth, I speak to the wind. And I thank you, God, that you're about to blow. I thank you, God, that you are blowing in this direction. That you are blowing in this house, oh God. That you are blowing in this house, oh God. Oh God, I thank you for the breath of God. I thank you for the wind 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 of God. To melt the ice around our hearts. I thank you for the wind of God. To melt the ice around our hearts. That we may be ready to receive what you're about to do in this place. That we may be ready to receive what you're about to do in our lives. Come on, come on. Come on, fan it to Let the wind of God blow. 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 Say breathe. Say breathe. Say breathe.
going to mess around and their faith is going to make them whole tonight. Somebody's going to mess around and watch their faith make them whole tonight. Hallelujah. Oh God. Yeah, 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 yeah. feels like this is what it looks like this is where God is taking you this is where God is taking you this is where God is taking you it's this atmosphere that miracles manifest that healing and glory manifest hold on, hold on. I'm declaring new altitudes over your life and I'm declaring unprecedented favor over your life. The ministry that God's entrusted to you is so necessary for today and for the generation God has called you to lead a generation to new heights and deeper depths with him. The level of con conviction in which you operate in the Lord has seen it and has reached his heart and there are miracles about to even be released into you. There's miracles coming to your house for your family, the things that you have laid before the Lord, the concern that you have laid before the Lord, the Lord's about to meet you. The Lord's about to meet you and he's going to demonstrate and it's going to blow your mind. It's going to look like God, what, what can I do? What can I do? It's so much. It's so much. It's going to be coming from the north, the south, the east, and the west. There is breakthrough. There is healing. There is deliverance and the fire that's in your belly is going to shift and shake nations. Somebody shout nations. Say nations. There are nations in you waiting and being prepared for the voice for the sound and for the power of God that's within you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the Father is waiting on your yes. The moment you allow God in, so much is about to unfold before you. So much is about to unfold before you. The Lord has not forgotten about you and he is ready to release some things. He's ready to release some things that may, that make, you, may make you feel crazy. God, that's what you want to do with me? God, that's what you're saying to me? God, that's what you're giving to me? It may not make sense, but the Lord is bringing increase. The Lord is bringing favor. The Lord is bringing provision. He's bringing healing. He's bringing deliverance. I speak to your mind right now. I speak to your life right now. And I thank God in advance for the liberty that's coming your way. I thank God in advance for freedom. I thank God in advance for healing. I thank you, God, that the psychological warfare that's been surrounding her mind and her life, I thank you, God, that you're about to break it, that you're about to break it, that you're about to break it. Somebody shout, pray, pray, pray. Come on, pray, pray, pray. I'm decreeing it and declaring it over you just as you move in faith. That, that just as you move in expectation, God's going to meet you. He's going to meet you. We thank you, God, for how it's going to look. We thank you, God, for what it's going to feel like. We thank you, God, for what it's going to bring about. We thank you for healing. We thank you for breakthrough. We thank you for breakthrough. We thank you for breakthrough. All the years, oh God, that she's been on the wall. I thank you, Lord God, that the fruit is coming. The fruit is coming. The fruit is coming. The fruit
Aleluya. Aleluya.
Come down now, let it be. Come down now, come down now, come down now. Say, demonstrate, 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 demonstrate. Say, demonstrate, demonstrate. Say, manifest, manifest. Say, manifest, say, manifest. Say, manifest, say, manifest. Bow down. 
face at your feet. Father, we lay before you. We lay before you, God. We adore you, Lord Jesus. We adore you, Lord Jesus. We adore you, Lord Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. surrender in your presence 
and we worship. Somebody tell the Lord yes. We say yes to your will and to your way. We say yes.
There's nothing left. My love sings to you. Nothing left. 
Jordan, can you come get on the keys for me, please? I need the oil just one more time. Jamin, I need you to stand right here. Oh, you have shifted. And I've got. You have shifted. I need y'all praying in the Holy Ghost. Lift up your hands, man of God. I pray the virtue of the Lord back into you. Gentlemen, I hear the Spirit of the Lord saying, there is something so miraculous around the corner for you. The Lord began to deal with me three days ago about you, and not just because you're my biological son, but the Lord has been showing me the sacrifice that you've been making in this house. The nights that you've been at this church when nobody else was here. I saw it. And there are times you were here that you didn't even tell me that you were here. The seeds that you've sown. And I hear the, heart, the heartbeat of God and, I, and he's reflecting your heart to keep the work of the ministry just like you knew your father would. <laughs> I hear your heart. Yep. The power of God is all over you. And because of your sacrifice, And not just in your work and effort in the house physically, but even in your personal life. <laughs> yes. The things that God has required of you have been difficult. But because of the call of God on your life, it required more of you. And you had the audacity to say yes, even when it hurt, even when it didn't make sense, even while you were bleeding. It's everything you just ask God for, watch him do it. The season of lack is over. It is over, said God. God said, you don't want to be a burden to anybody, so you don't even speak. You don't even tell mama everything. But God knows our hearts. God said, watch me move even the gifting of the Lord because of your sacrifice has been shifted we hear the sound the sound the sound the sound the sound that's a sound that cost oh God oh Oh, Now watch God elevate and promote. It was all about humility. The breaking was not to kill you, but it was to promote you. <laughs> Yes, God. 
time and so God says you passed the test. You passed the test. Heal broken heart. Heal his broken heart. Oh God. <laughs> I think Jesus. Time and time Sorry. It's gonna be all worth it. It's gonna be all worth it. Yo, yes. Yo, yes. Yo, yes. Heaven heard you. Stand up, worshipers. New glory. Stand up. All your worshipers, stand up. I need the oil real quick. Lift up your hands. New glory. Y'all get behind them. Get behind them. So part time. Hey, Abanata, I need y'all ready to receive new glory. Pata, Tota Babanto, Pupata Rabansopa, Rukata Rabanso, Eleman, Rukata Rabanso, oh yeah, Pupa Babanso. Get it, take it, come on, take it. Rabant, Ruf. Papa, 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 Papa,